Welcome back. We've got a new guest up, head coach of the Salisbury University men's basketball team, Andy Sachs. Up on the desk once again, man. You, Felt like you, it was good to be, good to be back, us. man. Good to you be back. You start working for us. Yeah. Back for year number four, Coach Sachs. What have you learned? Uh, first of all, I want to ask you about the partnership before I get into this. What does it right. mean to have this partnership with the University of Maryland Eastern Shore? I, I, I think it's great. Um, I'm very thankful Coach Reed wanted to do this too. And uh, James Simmons and Derek had a, a lot to do with it. Um, you know, having my son play in the Salisbury Leagues, I think it's going to be uh, – it's a great thing for the community, and I'm, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, now I want to get into what I really wanted to get into. So you're going to ask what first, have you, but now, what, yeah. Yeah, what have you learned, man? You know I'm a basketball guy. We talk about it often. What have you learned, especially uh, going into year four, with how last year ended up? Well, you know, again, so we lost 85% of our scoring from the year before, and you, you, you learn as the year goes on about your team and about the younger guys. And like I said, we, we started Johnny uh, right after we got back from Christmas, and we kind of took off and JP played a lot more minutes for us. So a lot of the younger guys got better as the year went on. And, you know, had we not you know, stubbed our toe at the end of the year, we're, we're tied for first place. Yeah. So um, not that I'm satisfied with the way the year went off, but I mean, I thought we played really well at the end of the year. So we're talking about some of those younger guys now. We see on Twitter, social media all the time, yeah. this <laughs> incoming class. So yeah. how are you feeling about some of the recruits? I, I think we're going to be we're going to be pretty good. Uh, I think our league's really good. You know, uh, at, at Division Three level, Christopher Newport's going to be good. York loses three guys, but they're going to be good. Harrisburg's going to be a lot better this year. St. Mary's will be a lot better. So, uh, but yeah, a couple of the kids are going to have a chance to help us right away, and but they're going to have to get acclimated. And, again, the biggest difference is they're not going to be playing against 17-, 18-year-old yeah. kids anymore. Yeah. It's 22-, 23-year-old guys that have, that have been in programs for two and three years. Now, on the same subject, do you anticipate this class coming in and making the same kind of impact, or hoping so at least, uh, that the team did last year well, with again, the freshman I, I, last year? It's just about opportunity, Trey. And, you know, again, losing Whitmer, Wyatt, and Jeter, you know, the three freshmen that came in, you know, once they got acclimated to what we were doing, they took advantage of the situation. I don't, I don't know how much opportunity is going to be there for this, you know, group, you know. And we're losing one already for the year. We have one of our guys got a torn labor, and so oh, he's really? out for the year. So, uh, but, you know, they are all they were all something in high school. Every kid we have on our team was all something in high school. Yeah. So, so uh, go, go ahead. No, I was going to say, it takes away, you know, it's going to ask about the offseason and how things have been pro progressing. We see now, kind of takes the question out of my mouth, you have a torn ACL or t uh, torn labor already. But yeah. how is the team shaping up so far? We're a few I, months out. I, again, I, I think we're, we're excited to get back to work here in about three weeks. Uh, I know the guys have been chatting in group chat and then text messaging, so we're, we're ready to go. And Coach, uh, we talked about this a bunch. We saw the success of those first two years. Um, and how do you kind of get back to that level? And are you confident that the group that you have and the guys that you're bringing in can get you back to that level that you wanted to be on when you, as, so, as soon as you got here? Well, it, it, it kind of starts for your point guard spot. So yep. you know, I feel we have the best point guard in the league. You got a pretty good one right you there. Know, number Blair three Davis. is pretty good, and, huh? Uh, yeah. We got it. We just brought a kid in with junior college kids. That, so it's probably going to help us out a little bit too at the point guard spot. But again, our, our league is really good, Trey. Um, you know, Christopher Newport has a first team All-American coming back. So. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't have a first team All-American coming back, but I do. <laughs> I do have what I feel is the best point guard in the league, and I got a lot of guys. You know, ten guys played a lot of minutes for us last year, and most of those guys are back. So, you know, you lose Chad and you lose Jordan, but you know, I got a pretty good core coming back. It's going to be obviously, you know, a pretty exciting year. Now we're talking about Christopher Newport a lot, but any specific teams you're looking out for this year that well, you know you we have ha circled on your schedule? We have to. Go How about, to can I say Wesley? Can I say that? Yeah. Because I was at that game. Yeah. Um, you know, at, yeah. uh, at Wentworth, and uh, yeah. you know, I, I just felt felt you know obligated yeah. to call those guys out. Yeah, the, we'll play them again too. <laughs> <laughs> they left our league, so we're only going to play them once this year. Okay. Um, I'll take one win. But, you know, we're going to Springfield. They were in the Final Four last year. They bring four starters back. Um, Nichols and East Con State are going to be in that tournament, too. Both made the NCAA tournament. In our tournament coming in, uh, Lancaster Bible, who Christopher Newport beat in the NCAAs, you know, with eight seconds left last year, is coming in. Yeah. Johns Hopkins coming in, made the NCAA tournament. DeSales won 20 games and has a, a Bloomsburg transfer coming in. So we have a great schedule, yeah. um, which you want to have. And, um, you know, again, I, I think this game that we're going to play against UMES will help us prepare for our season. Yeah. Uh, our season starts a week earlier this year. Uh, so we have Arcadia November the 10th. It doesn't start November 15th anymore in Division Three. So um, we've got to use this as a great tune-up for us. And then we have a number of scrimmage right after we play UMES. So hopefully, you know, it prepares us for what we're going to face here during the season. There you go.
And uh, Arcadia, I should mention, located right next to my high school, Cheltenham High School. Yeah, sweet. In, in I got to get that yes, Philly sweet. plug in wherever I can. <laughs> and, 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 they, and they beat us last year at their place. So we have, we have a, nine of our games this year against NCAA tournament teams. So we'll be well tested. There you go. Well tested. And of course, we're going to be out there covering both the UMES men and women, That's the exactly Salisbury right. men and women. Of yeah. course, of Great. course, Coach Sachs, Thank as you. always, a pleasure it, to have you back on the desk. Yep. That's going to do it for now, though. But when DSI returns, it is after the whistle. It returned this week with one of the Bay Size top oh, basketball talents. It's one of the top basketball talents, yeah, Trades Me. We introduce you, you to Jaden Baker not. when G DSI returns. <laughs> My name is Gary Burdell. My name is Tyrus Parnell. People of Parkside Rare. You're watching Delmar Sports Insider. Insider.